Hey y'all, Gerald here with you again. Just wanted to bring to you Psalm 2 today, praying that it blesses you, speaks to you. And this is actually one of the first Psalms to speak about the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Even though he's not named, he does show up in the Old Testament in prophecy. But this one's called The Reign of the Lord's Anointed, from Psalm 2. It says, Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, As for me, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree the Lord said to me, You are my son, capital S-O-N. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Now this is a psalm written about the kings and giving them the wisdom to, of course, serve God and to rule with wisdom that God gives. But for us, we can also take it personally for us as well that we need to seek God's wisdom, seek his truth, and believe that it's, it's him that we're trying to, to serve and, and follow. And of course, to get the positive words from here, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. You know, God is the creator of God. He deserves fear as in reverence kind of fear. Not so much that he's going to hurt us or he's going to do wrong to us, just, but just understanding he is the highest of the high. He is the creator of God. He's bigger than anything and more powerful than anything. But yet he stepped into humanity and in in his son, Jesus Christ, for us, which shows how much he loves us and how much he wants to be a part of our lives. And it also says, blessed are all who take refuge in him. So what is it you're seeking comfort from today? And what are you seeking to comfort you today? And we're called to take refuge in the Lord and to trust him. And again, with all this coronavirus stuff going around with us today, it's a scary time. But we can always trust God that no matter what happens, he has not left us, he has not forsaken us, and that he's here for us. Things are still going to get uncomfortable from time to time. We may still get sick. We, we don't know what is going to happen to us, but we know that God holds everything in his hand and that ultimately our lives, if we're following him, will be spent with him in the future for eternity. So no matter what, he's looking out for our good because he loves us. So again, I pray that this is a blessing to you today and that you take some positivity out of it. And again, let me just pray for us real quick. Father God, we give you thanks and praise once again for this day. Even amongst all the things that are going on around us, Lord, we find refuge and strength in your word and in your presence. And Father, I pray for those people today that are struggling because of fear, because of trembling, because of this virus and stuff that's going around. Father, no matter what, no matter even if we end up getting sick, we know that it's you who holds us in your hand. And we know that you love us. So much that you sent your son to die for us. And then he rose again to show us that you have power over death. No matter what it is we face, you have more power than it. So, Father, I pray that you comfort us with your word today, that you speak into the minds of those people that are hearing this right now, Lord. And may we all seek to bring you glory as you deserve. For it is in Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Again, friends, I pray this is a blessing to you, and I hope you have a good day.